do say something, but I want to yeah. just say we have wonderful guests here in the studio, including Hobbs. This is Hobbs, <laughs> you find out on social media. Um, and my coworkers, my colleagues, some great friends, some viewers who are here with us to do it as well. And um, so grateful you guys could all, my son is here, and just so grateful to share this moment with you guys and with them too. And well, that's really special. Well, you are special, and we have another message for you. This is from Bob Iger, who's watching right now from LA. He's watching as we speak. Straight up. He's been watching the New York scene. And he says, I can't believe you're leaving us. I've been a fan and an admirer of yours for years, mm -hmm. and I can't thank you enough for 29 great years of Eyewitness News. You are, and always have been, a class act. And your presence on WABC and in New York will be greatly missed, as will your great smile. Thanks for everything. <laughs> uh, thank you, Bob. I know you're still watching. He runs the best company in the world, and yes, is a does. great leader, and we so admire him. So thank you for that. So I do get a final word here, and a tight shot, I hope. <laughs> It's been an amazing ride. It started 40 years ago. I began reporting in 1979 at a TV station in Durham, North Carolina when I was just a senior in college. And I knew right then that I had found my career and my passion. Three TV stations later, I landed right here in New York. And I knew that this, this was where I was meant to be, a station with great energy, great talent in reporting, and a history grounded in diversity and community. I was a working mom, I had a wonderful husband, and then five years ago, my husband got his diagnosis, and as you saw in that video, he's been dealing with it. My son had an accident, as you saw in that video, and an accident that left him with a severe brain injury. My colleagues, and many of you on social media, with your prayers and your kind messages, got me through the toughest time of my life, and I will be forever grateful for that, forever. Over the past few years, watching my son heal and my husband fight through his illness, it has fed my soul. They have been heroic, never letting what life has dealt them get them down. And I will continue to share their progress on social media with the hope that their stories can inspire you and others. But their journey also made me reimagine mine and know that it was time to move on. My colleagues are still all going to be here to report the news fairly and accurately. They know the most important thing is to get it right, that details matter, and as I often say, words matter. Choose the right one. I also won't be bugging them about what the lead should be on the day. <laughs> so, learning is a big part of what motivates me, and what I've learned over these past few years is that time is limited, family is precious, and the connections we make with people and our communities are invaluable. Many of my families and friends are here on this last night, and as I head down a new path, I'm reminded of that old children's song, make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver, the others are gold. All of you here, all of you at home, you are gold to me. Thank you for allowing me into your homes all these years, and God bless. Mm. Thank you. Mm.